Hi, Fire in My Bones here. Going to be testing out some of the caldera cone systems uh, offered by Trail Designs and Anti Gravity Gear. Hope you enjoy. Let's start off with the weights. For the Anti Gravity Gear, three cup kitchen. Stuff sack, but no pot grabber. That's 273 grams, or 9.65 ounces. All right, so let's open up and see what I've got inside here. All right, anti gravity gear. This is a four cup container by Ziploc, I believe. We'll undo this. Yeah, Ziploc. Okay. Inside, we have one of the stoves from Trail Designs. I believe that is the 1210 stove. Nothing else inside. And then we have the Caldera Cone Pot Support Windscreen. It just slides together carefully. And then there is the Caldera Cone Windscreen. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what else we've got in the bag. We've got Anti-Gravity Gear Cozy, Pot Cozy. I've trimmed down just a little bit. And the three cup pot by Anti-Gravity Gear. I really like this pot, except it's a little bit bigger than what I would need. And then what else is in the bag? Nothing else in the bag. This is the lid with some Reflectix. Now, I want to go ahead and say, I don't really see a whole lot of reason for carrying two cozies when I've got one here. Uh, both of them, in my opinion, I believe would work about the same. Uh, you can fit a whole lot more in this one than you can in this one, which uh, three cups, four cups in the other one. Um, I guess it just depends upon exactly how you're going to do your cooking. Alright, so that's a look at, uh, at the Anti-Gravity Gear 3-cup uh, pot. Uh, let's get a weight just the pot. Okay, so just the pot, Anti-Gravity Gear 3-cup, is 111 grams, or... 300 or 3.9 I'm sorry 3.9 ounces all right this is just the cozy nothing inside I'm gonna set that upside down that is 72 grams 2.55 ounces just for the cozy. Anti Gravity Gear 3 cup Caldera Cone, 44 grams, 1.55 ounces. All right. The 1210 stove. 15 grams or 0.55 ounces just the silicone sack is 14 grams or 0.5 ounces
Uh, I'm sure you could go much lighter if you use something like Kuban fiber, um, but pretty good for what it is. This feels like one point, uh, probably one point five uh, silicon nylon. I wanted to show you what all can fit down inside the cozy if you'd like it to. I'll take and gently wrap this up. Try not to cut yourself. It's not super sharp. He does does uh, bring that down a bit with some sandpaper, I believe. Let's sit that down in there. We can fit our stove. We can fit a pot grabber. Uh, still debating whether or not to use this pot grabber or a new silicone one that I got from GSI. I cut down a little bit to save some weight. Um, I'm sorry, more like that. But uh, still playing around with this. Maybe more on this later. I can put my spoon down in there. Um, for if I was going to use this large, one, I would probably not use my cut down spoon like this. I'd probably use my uh, retractable uh, jet boil spoon, which I really like. It's twice as heavy as my cut down spoon, but it becomes twice as long. Um, now, you can still see that there's enough room down in there. If I really wanted to, I could probably put a small fuel bottle. Um, else wise just screw that up but I'm going to remove these two items for now the old MSR 700 and I made a little homemade um, lid for it out of a pie t uh, real small like a cupcake tin thing and I put a little handle with some uh, foil tape, so I'll sit that on there as well. Um, this one did not come with a stuff sack. Um, this is a personal model for uh, the owner of anti-gravity gear, Tin Man, uh, that I have been uh, sent to test. Um, so far, just from the size, uh, I'll show you a size comparison between this and the anti-gravity gear uh, three cup pot. Uh, I like the size of this pot a little bit better. Notice how much more smooth that uh, the container nestles down inside the pot. All right, wait on this. Total is 195 grams. Uh, this is a titanium pot where the anti-gravity gear three cup pot is aluminum. And this is 6.9 ounces. Um, remember that the stuff sack is about a half of an ounce. Um, that would give about a half of an ounce more uh, weight on this. Uh, so that would be um, uh, 7.4 uh, ounces if, uh, if, we used, if we used the stuff sack. We've got the pot. Um, so you can notice one thing that I really like about this pot is the declination lines that it has in here so I can know exactly how much uh, water. Normally I only use uh, right at 500, um, 500 milliliters, but definitely this could potentially go all the way up to seven. Um, with a lid on there, if I'm boiling water, I wouldn't put seven. I wouldn't put any more than six. Uh, and I found that five is all I ever really need. So good size pot, um, titanium, which is nice. Um, here we go, let's see. Now, inside of this, same kind of idea, an older 1210 stove. And one of the things that really helps with the weight on here is that this is a titanium caldera comb. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say, if you're going to get a caldera cone from what I felt, um, even before I ever fired these up, was that titanium was the way to go. Not only is it lighter, but uh, this foil is also a lot more resilient. Um, 
and it'll just, it'll just slide right down in there, which is really rather cool. Um, that is it that I have in here now. However, uh, there are a few other items that can be included. This, let me put this one together, actually sits up, upside down. So when I've got the other cone, it slides down on here and kind of creates a little... This is the Inferno insert. Um, this is for wood burning. Uh, I have not tested this out yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Now one thing I am not a huge fan of just thinking is that these holes here are for titanium tent stakes. Um, or tarp stakes. Uh, these were sent along uh, for the testing as well. Um, I really like the weight on these, but I have not switched to titanium yet. So a potential problem is if you don't have stakes like this, uh, you would have to buy more stakes just to be able to use the Inferno insert. Um, so these would slide into these holes. and then the pot sits up on top, giving you a spot to feed uh, feed wood down into. Now, also, and you'll see all of this in a little bit more detail when I'm filming this outside, this allows for a grate, let me move this out of its packaging, This grate will sit on top of this inside the Inferno insert. So this will actually not slide all the way down inside. So you'll see that doesn't fit all the way down in. Um, so that uh, gives you a raised floor. But one thing I like about this, with this pot, is it actually fits on the inside of your container. So let me show you this all packed up. Alright, let's start with the caldera cone. Got a nifty trail design logo there. Next up would be the Inferno insert. Put that down inside. Then we're going to take and kind of roll that up some, drop that down in the bottom. Okay. Alcohol stove. Of course, you'd still have room for your pot grabber and spoon if you would like. This. Back inside. And this little uh, piece of parchment paper kind of helps protect the plastic, but that just kind of sits right down inside here. That screws on. No worries. I believe that if you're just carrying extra tent stakes, these should fit down inside at an angle. So let's give that a try. Just in case I end up getting a question on it, I won't have to re go back and do another film. Those do fit at this angle, even with this inside. So Again, another nice thing about this is everything fits right here, minus the lid, which you could sit on the bottom uh, in a little stuff sack if you would, if you'd prefer. MSR 700 with the lid is 
68 grams or uh, 2.4 ounces. Alright, tarp stakes, 13 grams or 0.45 ounces for two. Um, if you're not carrying these, then that would just be extra weight. 1210 stove, same as the other. Floor, 4 grams. 0.15 ounces. Very nice. This is the um, Caldera Cone insert for. Or the, uh, this is the Inferno insert. At 0.7 ounces, or 20 grams. All right, for the cone itself, 38 grams uh, versus uh, the 44 grams uh, for the aluminum version for the anti-gravity gear three cup. 1.35 ounces. Now, uh, the floor with the uh, paper, don't suppose you have to use the paper, but I think that it's a uh, nice way of keeping uh, soot off of the inside of everything. This is uh, 0.4 ounces, or 12 grams. We got a one cup container here. Um, it perfectly fits the you know, pretty much perfectly fits the 1210 stove and then down inside of the Evermoon we've got the sidewinder you'll notice the stove doesn't really want to fit down in there anywhere um, Kind of wants to fit, but you'll notice that with the rim there, that just doesn't want to close. And rather than break the stove, we'll just have to transport that separately. All right, so inside the stove or inside the pot, got a little Tyvek sheet, which is going to hold our sidewinder. Right out. Slide that on. And there we've got the Caldera Comb Ever New 0.9 Sidewinder. Now, because this is short with the Sidewinder, one way or the other, you need to use the tarp stakes. If you're going to do alcohol, you slide the stake through the bottom holes, which puts it just above where it would sit you notice it doesn't go all the way down to the lid here all right also have the insert for wood burning, the Inferno insert. Up. <laughs> Another one of the little cages to come part of the floor. And this can actually also go down inside there, and this is a floor um, that this model has uh, for the ever new uh, 900. And then something that will fit down inside the pot is again the little, the little floor goes down inside. So, we can fit everything down inside. 
for the Sidewinder version in there. And all of that fits comfortably inside the Evernote Point 9. If you're going to use the Sidewinder stove, you've got to be able to, you've got to have the uh, tent stakes. Okay, the floor weighs 18 grams or 0.65 ounces. Just the pot with lid weighs 118 grams. Keeps fluctuating back and forth. We'll go on the high side. And 4.15. Sidewinder with Inferno insert. Everything all together is 75 grams or 2.6 ounces, 2.65 ounces. Now there is another option that you can use to flip that upside down. This one did not come with a protective cover. And then the full titanium caldera cone. This is 269 grams or 9.45 ounces. Now for the um, ever new if you're just using the regular We've got the 1210 stove, the Inferno insert, our little ordeal here, the floor does not fit down inside so that just stays in the pot, and the regular cone. Now notice on the regular cone, that it's only got one set of small holes and that's for the wood burning mode. I'm going to show the size difference between the regular and the sidewinder now. Okay, sidewinder for the ever new point nine versus, let me try to get these lined up pretty close, you can see there's just very small difference in height. If I can get those lined up again very small difference in height on the regular on the right and the sidewinder on the left. Personally, I would like this one better because I would not have to use an additional support. Now I've heard that there is something called the Fisher, which is the original split in two. It's got grommets around that everything col can collapse down and fit upside down inside the pot that's what I want. This is the original for the ever new point nine it is 40 grams or 1.45 ounces. The sidewinder is one 1.2 ounces or 34 grams. So the sidewinder is less. Now let's take a look at the sidewinder with the tarp stakes. That brings us up to 47 grams. or 1.65 ounces um, which is 0.2 ounces heavier because of the stakes.
starting to get uh, steam, uh, lots of small bubbles, that's a small boil over here. Got a rolling boil just at seven minutes, but that one was lit first. Still just small bubbles in the Evernew. Not quite to a rolling boil here. Ow! Careful, that is hot. Look at that. Big rolling boil over here. Seven minutes and 20 seconds. Ah, rolling boil, 732. Also gonna let you know when these come out, or blow out. A little low on that. And we've got a boil at 8.30 over here. But I'm gonna cut down about uh, 10 seconds off of this one because of how uh, I forgot to put in the pegs. So that one may not be a, an exact number. But let's see how long this the gas lasts. Bubbles just died at 11 minutes. Bubble still going strong at 11.13. Wait for boil out on this one. Bubbles still going strong over here. We're going to remove the lids. And we're going to see what we've got here. And almost at the same time. That's it. Twelve minutes. Okay, let's fill this up. It's just in between. Three and five. Should show. I'm gonna get this down to 32. Just a little bit more. Let's blend it right there. I'm gonna pour in our alcohol. Okay. Light it. Okay, so, and we've started. Starting to get some bubbles. And it's not the full rolling boil yet, but we're pretty darn close. So we'll see how long it takes for the alcohol to run all the way out. boiling out at 8.53. So, uh, definitely got a longer boil on the other stove. Alright, so, let's see what we've got here. I'm going to go ahead and put the water there. Let's get this started. Okay. All right. Well, that started to go. Let's get this. Holy cow, that's hot. Pulling up the inferno is uh, spot on. That is hot.
something that you can only do here, we're only a minute in, is you can only use a titanium cone for the wood burning mode. Good gravy that's warm in there. Inferno's absolutely right. Good gracious. Got flame coming out back here on the back side. How awesome this is might just be the worth the weight uh, of those tent stakes. Look the flames coming up in there, and it is just. I'm, I'm not kidding. I can barely be this close to the stove. It's rather warm. Now up top, I'm not feeling any heat escaping. Just through these little holes through the side and out through the main. This is pretty darn wicked cool. I'll tell you, when the wind blows, you can hear it. Listen. It is an inferno. Okay, we are at 650. Even with the heat there, though, still slow to a boil. The alcohol stove is more efficient in this uh, capacity, uh, but for those of you who enjoy a wood burner stove, um, this is pretty darn cool, and it's really okay. We are at 8:45. Got some bubbles going. Almost that rolling boil that we're looking for. Maybe sitting up the pot a little bit. But you can definitely tell the direction that the wind's blowing is this way with this line on the pot. Um, and the coals down in there are just incredible. Can you see that? I don't want to damage the lens. But those are just rolling. Um, I'm going to put in just a little bit more wood. All right, we are at 9.30, and there's our rolling boil right there. Look at that. I'm going to let this burn out, and let's see how, uh, how long before the ashes are all the way done. For this to have boiled out, so here we go. 12 minutes, still boiling strong. I think if I were baking, that this would probably work really well. Um, I would refer to a video that Medicine Man did um, baking using a caldera cone with the Inferno insert. Um, I believe that he had that working rather well. Um, I'm wondering about grilling, because I bet that would also... 1543. Still rolling boil. It's been uh, quite a while since I've added anything in there. And uh, that's just coals. 1814 we're down to a simmer um, so I'm gonna call that it this could probably continue simmering for quite a while but I'm just interested in that rolling boil 208 uh, 212 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm gonna pull this off let's take a look down inside the inferno I am sure that that will continue just to burn down to ash um, that's that's a nice little a side note these handles suck I don't like them <laughs> they're tipsy final stove test this is the um, this is the Evernew titanium um, uh, point 0.9 we're going to be doing this with the the original caldera cone and the inferno insert 
I'm uh, getting ready to light that. So, lid this up. Have it ready to go over here. Be all set and prepared. And let's light this fire, shall we? Now something that's kind of nice, you'll notice this little base plate here. Um, doesn't add a whole lot of weight. Um, I'll get you the exact specifications on that here after a while. But the nice thing about this is that uh, you're not going to have ash leaking down into any kind of sensitive environment. Uh, and this acts as a nice base. Uh, we're going to compare that to this once it's done burning its ash down. Uh, whatever may end up being left over. So we'll see that in just a moment. Okay. It is five minutes in. And let's open it up. Good gracious, rolling boil. This one, I think because of the surface area on the bottom, is that much more efficient. Um, I mean, gracious, look at that, 515. That was faster than the uh, Dagon alcohol stove. Um, if you're using the, uh, if you're using the original Caldera cone and uh, the Evernew Point Nine, get, <laughs> make sure to get this. Um, I like that, that's smooth. Uh, this one was slower, this one was slower. Um, I don't know. The speed with which this one boiling water um, might also have to do with the amount of water I put in. Each and every one I only put in only put in two uh, only put in two cups of water. So uh, let's see how long that maintains its rolling boil. And we're down to a simmer. All right, so this is still kind of warm. And this is for the MSR 700. That's the ash that remains. There's still some in here, but I'm trying to be careful not to dump it out. Look at that. Let's scatter this ash. Uh, I like this pot grip because uh, you can use it. Oh, oh well. So. Because I can use this pot grip, to grab so many different instruments. I think I like this pot grip. So that's what I've got left over. Let's kind of... That's pretty nice. We'll wet that and scatter it. Here's my final thoughts. If you're going to use the Evernew Point 9, get the Inferno insert. If you're on a budget, I really like the anti-gravity gear Caldera Kitchen. Uh, overall, MSR 700 is nice. Did not like the Sidewinder. Definitely want to try the Fisher. Hope you enjoyed the review. I know it was long, but until next time.